I started playing soccer in kindergarten and I absolutely loved it. My parents didn't let me play competitive soccer until fifth grade and it was always me driving the way to start playing more competitive. When I first started college, my goal was to win a national championship and our sophomore year, we won the championship. We beat Stanford. I just remember the clock ticking down and there's 30 seconds left and just looking at the scoreboard and it was 1-0 and it was just this eerie feeling like this is what you work your entire life for. I first heard about She's the First in the spring of my freshman year. I clicked on the link to the webpage and I saw all these little girls in, in Africa and Asia and I said like, wow, I want to get, get involved with this. With the group of girls, we met in August of our sophomore years and decided to do the bake sale and that's where things kind of took off from there. Two hours in, I remember we were baking more cupcakes and because they already sold out. So we were just like, wow, we're really on to something here. I think the tie-dye cupcakes are just a big shock and when you take a bite into it, you're not expecting a bunch of tie-dye. Once we received the first picture of Hema, who we sponsored, and learned a little about who Hema was, we just like we need to do another bake sale. It just became real. It's not just a money amount and a girl in this distant country. It's like your own little girl. For my teammates and I, knowing about the three little girls, knowing that in Nepal they were thinking of us and knowing what they had gone through and they're 12 years old, 11 years old, and it made us just appreciate being able to go out on the soccer field and play and being able to attend Notre Dame and being a girl and being able to go to college and raise our hands and say what we think and not be afraid to and it just really gave us a new perspective and made us so appreciative of what we have. I started the first girls soccer team at Coppola Valley School. And the first day I remember them trapping the ball with their hands and this whiffing the ball and like by the end they were able to trap it and shoot it and it was like they had a lot of momentum on it and they were able to pass and head the ball and they weren't afraid. It was just incredible. Where it begins is two years ago when I first contacted She's the First and found other girls in America and found girls at Notre Dame that were interested in helping and none of this would even be possible without the internet or social media and it's insane. It really helps you connect with the right people and get to the right places. One cupcake turned into three bake sales and now dozens of bake sales because it's something so simple and something you can do with your friends so quickly but yet make such a profound change. I decided I am no longer going to play soccer for Notre Dame and it was a big decision. I've played soccer since I was five years old. But I just realized she's the first is my passion and it's not fair to mentally be in two places at once. It's a big decision and it's overwhelming but I know it's going to lead to good things and I'm excited. It's opening up a new chapter.